Uh, hey guys, uh, uh, I am sick right now, uh, and I've been sick for a while, which is why I've been putting off, uh, doing some of these videos, but I will try to get, uh, the next couple of videos done fast, uh, so let's talk about A Star is Born. Um, it's quite possibly the front runner to win Best Picture, uh, right now, uh, and to win a bunch of other Oscars, um, so let's, let's talk about this. It's... So it did take me a while to gather my thoughts about this one. It's, uh, and I think the, the reason for that was, I, I'm not even sure what the reason was. I think it was just, I've been sick and tired a lot and I've, I, I need to take a lot of time off to rest. Uh, and as soon as I'm done recording this, then I will get some rest because even now my stomach hurts. But, okay, so this is a movie that is very very good and is going to do well in Oscar season but at the end of the year is this gonna be one of my favorite movies of the year I, I'm not really sure about that I think uh, it's a film that I think everyone is gonna react a little bit differently to uh, even though most the majority of people seem to like it a lot uh, one thing that I will say about this film is that it is too long I think that's a fairly common criticism at this point. It could have been edited down uh, significantly. You could have lost 30 minutes. Uh, and it's it's not really bad. It just it go it drags on for a little while. Uh, and I feel yeah, I feel like a significant amount could have been cut, which is surprising because early on in the film, I thought the beginning was very very quickly paced. Uh, I, I thought that it was it's surprising. Uh, when the shallow song came out, I'm like, really? We're here already? I thought there'd be more before that, but I'll get to that in a minute. But the main uh, draw to this movie is Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga. And Bradley Cooper uh, is directing this film, and he is surprisingly a really good director. Like, you wouldn't guess that this was his directorial debut. I mean, Cooper, we already know, is a great actor, and he's worked with a lot of great directors, uh, like Clint Eastwood and uh, David Russell, some would argue, is a great director. Uh, um, but he, he turns in a very good directorial debut, and he also um, sings for the first time in this movie. And uh, it's interesting, I saw a YouTube commenter say uh, that in this film, uh, Cooper, a known actor, is pushing himself as a singer, uh, meanwhile, uh, Lady Gaga, a known singer, is pushing herself as an actress. And I think that's an interesting dynamic uh, for this movie, uh, uh, that Cooper is an actor who sings and Gaga is a singer who acts. In the beginning of the movie, they have to, they have to make it seem as though Cooper is the professional uh, singer and Gaga isn't. And it's weird, but it surprisingly, it surprisingly kind of works. Uh, uh, Lady Gaga, who uh, originally was going to be credited under her birth name, Stephanie Germanata, uh, I feel uh, until the the s distributors of the movie are like, no, 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 we want this movie to make money. Um, I think, okay, I'm, I'm just stammering a lot, but she definitely gives a very good performance. I don't think she's going to win Best Actress. I think, like, I think Glenn Close is going to take that, but... I think Gaga is gonna is gonna do great. I think she has a, a solid acting career after this. So who knows? I I I I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just this is why I didn't do a review for a while. It's just a while to gather my thoughts. So let's talk about uh, the shallow scene. Uh, so I saw a review of this movie that was like, this is gonna be the best. Uh, or what was it? It was like this is the best musical sequence of the century. Like, this is a be this is better than uh, Emma Stone's The Fools Who Dream from La La Land. Uh, no, it's not. It is not that powerful, and uh, it is certainly not as powerful as the final Remember Me from Coco. So I don't know. Don't make that comparison. Don't say it's the best of the, of the century, because we got that last year. But it is a good song, and it does work very well in the context of the movie, although uh, it is weird because it happens so like less than 24 hours after Cooper and Gaga meet one another. 
And judging from its placement in the trailer, I thought it would be the climax or even uh, halfway through. But, yeah. And as far as other songs in the film go, they're all uh, very good. But in terms of what song is going to get that second nomination, because uh, they can nominate up to two songs, it's going to be I'll Never Love Again, which is the finale of the film. And uh, arguably the better scene, are, it's is the scene that's more comparable to La La Land, Here's to the Fool's Who Dream. Um, and, and Lady Gaga sings incredible, and it is heartbreaking. Yeah, this is a sad movie. Be aware of that. Uh, and I have not seen the other versions of A Star is Born. I have not seen the other movies. But uh, I was able to follow this along well, and I'm aware that they updated certain things. It's, it's effective. Uh, and it's, uh, and it's emotional. It's also very realistic. It feels grounded in reality. Even though I don't know anything about the music industry, it feels like a faithful depiction of the music industry. Um, the last thing I'm going to mention is Sam Elliott. I'm a little bit unsure about his placement in supporting actor, because he doesn't feel like a winner to me. He gets uh, very little screen time. I've been saying he's going to win for a while, but... I don't know. I think he's probably safe for a nomination purely because they love the movie so much. But, yeah, I don't know. Well, I'm going to post my Oscar predictions uh, hopefully later today, uh, so you can check up on that. Uh, also, uh, let's see, Dave Chappelle is in the movie, uh, Andrew Dice Clay, I think, is in the movie. You know what's uh, weird is that I don't think early on when people were like, oh, it's going to be a shoe in for. Cooper, Gaga, and Elliot. And I'm like, oh, is there a female with a substantial supporting role so that she can Jackie Weeper herself into a nomination and get it uh, on all four nominations because the movie's so loved? No, I don't think there's a single other woman in this movie other than Gaga, to be honest. I, 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 I can't remember. I certainly don't think it passes the Bechdel test, which, not so great in this day and age, but... Whatever, and uh, as for Best Picture, I think it's going to be nominated. I think it's going to be a threat to win. Uh, I think it's too early to, for me to call it the front runner, but I think it's uh, it's definitely going to happen. Well, you'll see in my uh, in my review, in my Oscar prediction article, which hopefully is going to be coming up later today. So uh, thank you guys uh, for watching, and I will see you next time.